Hello all, Shadwell here, ready to talk about the next pair of short films in my collection, Aftermath and Genesis from 1994 and 1998, both directed by Nacho Cerda and starring Pep Tozer. Ah, as I'm writing this I am suddenly remembering where I first saw these short films. I rented this DVD from that media store I talked about earlier called Hastings because I recognized director Nacho Cerda as the director of one of my favorite horror fest films, The Abandoned, and I wanted to see what else he had worked on. Part of me wishes I never rented it, but the larger part of me is glad I know that this is out there in the world and that I've watched it. One short is transcendently gorgeous, the other is viciously ugly, but a thing of beauty at the same time in its own weird way. First off, there is a third short film on this disc called The Awakening, which was a collaborative effort between Nacho Cerda and two other directors, and I guess that's why it isn't on the disc title along with Aftermath and Genesis, which are both solely directed by Cerda. It's about 8 minutes and looks like a black and white student film. It's alright, but not stand out in any way. No, the real meat on this disc is Genesis and Aftermath, so let's talk about them, shall we? We'll start with Genesis, a wonderful film about a man slowly trading places with a statue he has just finished carving. Those are the broad strokes as the specifics are what makes this film gorgeous and a must watch. The imagery is a real thing of magic in this 30 minute short. It is also a wonderful palate cleanser to watch after Aftermath, which we have to get into sooner or later, so here goes. Aftermath is about the goings on in a morgue as bodies are autopsied to... Um, varying degrees of professionalism, we'll just leave it at that. Big trigger warnings for this one as the first image is of a ran over dog, there is body mutilation, and the most non-consensual of sex acts as well. I can't warn highly enough that this short is not for those with weak stomachs. Or even strong stomachs as it profoundly affected me in a negative way my first viewing. But regardless of all that, it is incredibly detailed and shockingly forward. Which is why I own it. I love Serda and I respect what he was able to do with both shorts and the incredible divergence between the two. Again, beware of Aftermath, but if you think you can handle it, I invite you to try. Just make sure you watch Genesis right after. I'm giving all three shorts an average of A-. Tomorrow we watch a horror-specific trailer collection called The Agfa Horror Trailer Show. See y'all then.